player. Uh, and they're going to do a bit of shooting here in the foreground. Uh, notice there's an, an, an unpainted Wood Elf uh, Mage in the forest there. She's level 2. And uh, yeah, next photo. Alright, so uh, the response here is the way um, the War Dancers move in between the Manticore and the Wild Riders unit. And of course, if he gets the spell off, which allows him to remove 26 inches, he'll be able to charge the Manticore. That would be cool. That's what the plan is here for the War, um, Wood Elf player. So we'll wait to the magic phase to see whether that actually occurs. In the next photo, uh, what's happened here is the uh, the war dancers, sorry, the way watchers are in the way of the Hydra. Uh, so I'm not really sure what the plan is here. He has moved the the uh, he has turned around the uh, Eternal Guard here to move towards the Hydra. Just trying to to take it out somehow. But uh, getting rid of that Hydra is going to be no uh, no easy task. In fact, it's going to be quite a tall order. Next picture, uh, what's happening here is again the, the Glade Riders are avoiding the Dark Riders. Just, just like a, cav a fast cavalry battle over in the corner of the field here. Neither side is really winning, but uh, the Glade Riders still outnumber the Dark Riders at this point, so getting some more shooting done. And wow, what else? Magic Phase comes along. He gets the spell off. No dispel scroll left for the Dark Elves, and uh, rolls a five for the, the range on the charge there, so fails, falling short of the Manticore. Uh, very unfortunate stuff. I really would have liked to get in there with Killing Blow and, and actually knock that guy out. He's got a 1 plus save thanks to the uh, Dark Elf item that gives you that. But uh, still no cigar, unfortunately. So close, but so far. Next picture. Ouch. Oh, yeah. This was funny. This was a funny one. The, the, glade, um, the glade Guard arches over the forest in the background. Completely open up at the Manticore. Score like 6 hits and then roll another 5 wounds on the Manticore. It's got no saves. All of the hits allocated on the Manticore, so miraculously, the Manticore is killed by Wood Elf Archers, unbelievably. By the way, short range, so four, strength 4. And uh, now the Dark Elf Dreadlord is on foot, so that really evens things up in the back of the field here. Now it's going to be War Dancers versus uh, Dreadlord, and I'm really keen to see how that turns out. Next picture, looks like the Waywatchers have decided to be heroic here and charge into the rear of the Hydra. Really just desperate, desperate times for the World Elves here, just trying to make sure that the Hydra stays in combat for a turn. Uh, the hope here is that the, if the uh, uh, Waywatchers manage to survive with one wound left and somehow panic, um, get double ones or, or, or at least uh, flee in the wrong, um, wrong direction for the Hydra, the Hydra will head on the opposite direction to his troops so he can salvage some of them. But uh, that is really not happening. Just so much bad luck from the Wood Elf players so far. Roll, failing fear and uh, panic checks all, the, all over the shows. Uh, he had a little bit of luck there with killing the Manticore, but that was about it. Next photo, this is quite a cool one. Um, the, uh, the shades move up on top of the hill and get behind the, the hedge here, so it's kind of like a, like a ninja-style uh, shade line. Next photo after that, uh, looks like the Dreadlord has charged into the War Dancer, so they've, uh, they've lined up in a pack of six. And Harpies just hang around, hang around as are the, the uh, Dark Riders in the foreground. Next photo, it's finally time for the Dark Elf Infantry to show up on the field. So all of them are just marching across the hill here. Uh, this is very good because the Eternal Guard are actually facing towards where the Waywatchers are. So if they get charged by the, um, by the b -b 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 Hydra at the stage, which looks kind of likely, uh, then the, <laughs> the Eternal Guard are going to get charged in the flank. So that's going to be pretty bad. And uh, things really going down the drain for the Wood Elves, but uh, we could see some heroic last laughs in the final couple of turns. Next picture, the Dreadlord. Look look at him shaking his fist in defiance. Great model. Fighting away with the uh, War Dancers, which I believe have chosen the 4 plus ward save for this particular round. And uh, they're hanging in there. Nice photo there, but the uh, the Dreadlord uh, shaking his fist and <laughs> having to, to swing around. He's, I think he's got the Sword of Battle, uh, so 5 attacks total. And uh, the combat is, uh, is well, it's not drawn. I think the Wood Elves won because of outnumber, but the Dreadlord didn't didn't fail his check. All right, so next uh, turn, what happens here is he declares a charge with the Eternal Guard and the War, war um, Waywatchers onto the Hydra. The reason he did that is so that he can get both blocks into base space with the Hydra and therefore get out of charge range of the Black Guard. But predictably, bad luck takes a toll yet again. Eternal Guard fail their fear check. War Waywatchers are past the fear check, so miserably... The Way Watchers charge the Hydra, and they're going to get butchered, as we know. And the Eternal Guards sit there doing nothing, getting ready for a flank charge from the Black Guard next turn, and most likely a Hydra charge from the front the following turn. And boy, is it about to get ugly for the Wood Elves. I'm sure you guys will agree. Next photo, uh, the 
the uh, archers are turning around here probably going to try and delay the uh, the hydra over the next turn <laughs> this is going to be very interesting the hydra by the way has actually charged into the the uh, the way watches so not really sure what's going to happen here um, I can't remember whether they charged or they got charged but at either rate you can see the hydras in combat next picture all right so the hydra uh, really uh, fights on against these war dancers who choose the four plus save obviously and uh, the war dancers actually hold I believe and uh, that means they're going to survive allowing the the eternal guard to just take a, a flank charge from the, the black guard uh, essentially and uh, life goes on, well, life goes on for, for some of these units, but not for others. Next picture, so here we have it. Uh, what's happened here is the Black Guard have charged the Eternal Guard, and the Harpies have had their charge in the flank. Now, the reason for that is that the Woodhoff player would have wanted to flee from those Black Guard on the flank. I mean, wouldn't you, wouldn't you want to have, have fled? Yes, you would have, uh, but they couldn't because that means they would have been wiped out by the Harpies. However, the trade-off is that now that the Harpies are in combat, the, the Eternal Guard are going to get some free combat res from killing the Harpies on the other side. So it's a bit, it's a bit even, uh, it's a bit, it's evened up a bit. But you still have got to, got to admit that the Black Guard have the upper hand in terms of combat res because they're going to break ranks. They're going to get the plus two ranks there, and uh, they've got a plus one bonus for flank. It's not going to matter too much because there's a BSP with the stubborn in the Eternal Guard unit. But having that flank is very nice, very nice indeed. And predictably, the black uh, the, the black elves, the black guard have got the uh, banner of uh, Hagraf, which gives them always strikes first, and it, which is pretty much a standard choice of black guard anyway. Next picture: uh, the shades are moving across the hill. The spearmen are getting ready to to come in and uh, hit the rear of the eternal guard, but uh, that's about it. Next photo after that. Oh, love this photo. So there's been a challenge, and it's the Wood Elf BSB. Uh, I love it how the photo is kind of blurred because it gives you this sense of. Uh, the battle is raging, and there's blurring like um, swords and uh, halberds and swinging everywhere. The BSB uh, has an epic struggle with the Dark Elf, uh, Dark Elf champion here, the Tower Master. They trade blows, and it's swing, parry, thrust, and uh, the Wood Elf champion stabs the the uh, Tower Master in the neck. I'm going to say the neck because I'm I'm, I'm 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 the one telling the story, and the Wood Elf uh, guy stands over his brutal corpse, screaming out his victory, and. Uh, just calling out for more, so uh, what else? Uh, plus one for that, and uh, the rest of the combat goes pretty well for everybody, uh, but uh, the Black Guards still win, and of course with the stuff and reroll, the what else hold, so very cool combat. In the meantime though, uh, the, the War Dancers have broken the Dark Elf Dreadlord, managing to inflict a wound on him and, and, and making him break. He fails his test and runs, but he outruns the, way, the War Dancers, however it's what else turn next, uh, so the you can as you can see the water water dancers are going to chase him down and he's going to run into the glade riders in the background. So looks like we're going to be seeing the end of our fist shaking uh, dreadlord after all. Next photo, what have we got here? Uh, <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. The archers uh, charge the hydra in the flank just to hold it up for yet another turn if they're lucky, and uh, that will save the ass of the uh, of the eternal guard. And in the foreground, as predicted, uh, the Way Watchers, sorry, the War Dancers always get them mixed up. The War Dancers charge the Dreadlord, the Dreadlord Lord runs and uh, gets killed by the Glade Riders. So uh, at least there's a general down there for the Dark Elves, uh, as we expected. But man, a desperate struggle in the center. Next photo, and wow, oh my god, let me tell you what happens here. The BSB challenges the enemy BSB, so there's a struggle, again a challenge, and already victorious, the uh, Wood Elf BSB is on a roll, manages to survive, uh, strikes back, managed to, to cut a wound out of the BSB from the Dark Elf side, and what happens is that somehow, even with a stubborn reroll, the Black Guard break from combat, and the Harpies have been destroyed as well. The Eternal Guard uh, charged down the Black Guard, killing them all, unbelievably in capturing both banners and that takes them out of charge range of the uh the spearmen so amazingly what else turn around the center the uh, heroic bsb i'm calling him the man of the match there leading his vi um, unit to victory but uh yeah dark elves uh, this is going to the next photo you can see uh where they end up just to the flank of the spearmen the spearmen can't actually charge them now and uh, yeah, that's what's happened there. Going to go to the next photo where you can see uh, in the final turn of the well, the d final turn for the Dark Elves. It's going to be one more turn after this, but for the final turn for the Dark Elves, all of the shooting um, from all of the repeater bolt throws in the shades opening up in the the heroic uh, Eternal Guard there and, and killing like six or seven of them and taking them under half strength. 
So, final photo of the game, you can see our players here uh, just deciding that that's it. As you can see from the view of the battlefield, the Dark Elves have taken the day. Way more points on the field for the Dark Elves, and that is a victory well deserved for the Dark Elf player, but you got to feel sorry for the Wood Elves there. Very bad luck with a lot of fear checks and so forth. Made a, made a, uh, they, they achieved a, a morale victory, a, a moral victory, I should say, um, at the end of the game there by killing the Blackguard, but uh, they've still been defeated soundly. Thanks for watching this, guys. Really enjoyed this report, and uh, we'll have to see you guys next time.